Thank you, Alessandro. And now Martha Fierro, WGM, will um, say a few words about further about experiences from this um, Italian project. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to share briefly with you uh, my experience of what I've faced when trying to introduce chess in the schools. In my opinion, there are two big problems. One is the budget, and another one is the lack of experienced uh, uh, instructors. The ideal will be to get professors from the same schools to teach chess, but it's very hard to convince these professors to expend their extra time learning chess. So, um, in, in, for example, in Ecuador, uh, the only way to do this, to get the interest of the teachers, is to um, uh, compensate them by giving them an educational award or to give them extra payment of, of hours. So, in this way, Victor's house is very effective because, you know, uh, we don't need uh, that many instructors. Um, this program can be, it can be self-educated. The, ki the kids can learn by their own pace. They can learn um, during school hours or also they can learn at home. They will have the possibility to practice at home. They, and this also gives the possibility for professors to learn it in during the same time the kids are learning, the professors can learn during these hours in schools. And this way we will, we will give the kids a very, a very good program and at the same time we will save uh, money or budget with instructors. I have, I have I have seen this program used in Italy, and, and it, has, it has been um, a great development for, 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 for children. They have, um, they have increased the number in Piedmonte, so I think we should, we, should, we, should be, very, we should see this program and maybe try to evaluate using this program in other countries. So these are the main two points. The, the one point is that the kids can learn by themselves during school hours, and the other point is that teachers can learn at the same time. And then maybe the next year these teachers will have uh, already will be uh, will have the condition to teach in the coming years the students as well. They will be more motivated and. And this, this will, in more years, we'll get more and more and more kids to, to practice chess. So, okay, this is my, my experience. My two, the two problems I, I, I have told you that I have faced during uh, trying to introduce chess in the school, the budget and the lack of instructors. So with this program, we can, we can eliminate this. Okay, we can help solve these two problems. So I encourage you to visit this web, website and see all the different, um, uh, advantages this program can give you and then use it. <laughs> yes. Well, for example, for, for teachers in schools, if they are uh, authorized teachers, it will be free. They can learn for free this program. Uh, but then during the, for the school hours, let's say for a children, it's three euros per year. For each student. So, if you have more questions, uh, I'll be glad to to answer. Also for Sandro, if before for Mr. Dominici. Oh, okay. So everything has been clear, I guess. <laughs> okay. Thank you.